Hi everybody, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. I am coming to you today from what was our room for the past uh, seven, eight months or so. Uh, we're almost moved out. We hired a couple people, we're gonna spend like 300, $350 just to move the stuff because we're too weak <laughs> to do it. This is the seventh, eighth move in three years. Uh, the first year after we moved out of the hotel, 330 West 51st Street, where this crazy, crazy stuff, not started, but got real crazy. Uh, we moved one place, they stole all our stuff. We moved another place, another place, another place. They just kept moving us. Lying to landlords, threatening them, whatever they had to do. So this is like the sixth, seventh, eighth move, I don't know, ninth move. I, I just gave up counting. And as I find myself getting sicker and sicker from the more gallons they gave me and from whatever else is being done to us, <clears throat> I realized that stuff is nice to have. And it's important to have when you're trying to do things, you know, like making videos or getting online, having clothes or whatever it is you're trying to do, you know? But other than that, once you get sick, once you lose your health, and you can't carry shit anymore, and you can't, you know, can't wipe your own butt. Then it's time to rethink your strategy on stuff. Because the stuff ain't going with you when you die. In fact, nothing's going with you when you die except your spirit and all your deeds. Everything you've ever done that make up your spirit, make up your energy. Um, anyway, I got some really, really out there stuff for you. Um, the next couple videos. Actually, I'm going to make one more video as we move into the new place. And then I'm going to hit you with this really out there thing that some of you may have thought of already. And some of you may have seen it in a movie. And others may agree with me. Others may disagree. I don't know. This is some big stuff. This is paradigm shifting ideology, man. This is, you know, possibilities of why we are here. And, um, I don't know, maybe it's one of those big secrets. It's either that, or it's a serious mind control trick that they're playing on me that I have fallen for wholeheartedly. Because uh, I'm a different model. I'm a different make and model than, than most. Uh, I'm sure there's many other makes and models like me, or of a similar make and model, who are designed to do the same things, but maybe we haven't figured out what they are yet. Where Where is our place in the social hierarchy. Um, and I was thinking about this, I was listening to uh, Gone to Carolina in my mind, a story about James Taylor who was locked up in a mental, mental institution in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Uh, somebody he knew there and they just took them away, disappeared, never seen him again, her again. But um, it made me realize that the system, the system that we are part of, the system run by politicians, big banks, uh, secret societies, from the top down to the lowest ponds who have no idea what's really going on but are making it happen every day. The system is designed to keep us down. It doesn't want too many of us uh, bubbling up to the top, to the cream of the crop. It doesn't want us bubbling up to the top because that's what a lot of us would do. No, it wants us fat, stupid, mediocre, ready for mind control, suffering and buying stuff, and thinking that it, we're in charge, thinking that all these great ideas were, were our ideas. And, 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 but that's not the way it should be, man. You know, when you depress the economy long enough, people get corrupt. People say, well, maybe, you know, it's just a few dollars here, a few dollars there. I gotta feed my kids, I gotta survive, I gotta keep a roof over my head. Why do they say that? Well, because the programming is telling them that. The programming, the people in charge are in charge of information warfare, and you are the combatant. This is insurgency, and we are the victims. So, anybody with talent, anybody with good looks and intelligence and, and you know, kindness to animals and 
empathy and compassion and lots of amazing ideas that could actually change the world. Those people are the ones that they hit first. Bam! And they hit them hard. Bam! And they hit them over and over. Bam! Why? Well, if you don't have uh, the thumbs up from the rich and famous, if you don't have the golden stamp of approval that says, he's okay, we're going to use him for something, let him pass, then you're fucked, man. You're fucked, and you're going to be struggling and struggling and struggling because they want you to struggle. They want you to have strife. They want you to take it out on one another. They want you to hate me. They want me to hate you. Why? So that we can fight a lot and never realize that they set us as enemies. We're not enemies. We're brothers. They are the ones that are manipulating the system. The system is what has to be changed. Now, the system is being manipulated at such a level, so many levels, so deep, so high, so width and breadth, you know, the whole thing. So it's up to us, the ones of us who have not been beaten down by uh, video games and television and school and church and socialization and mind control and fluoride in the water, etc., etc., etc. Those people are the ones that need to step forward, step up, hold hands, and change the world. There are secrets that are not being told. There are lies that are being told to hide the secrets. Are we going to find them before we die? Is society ever going to change for the better? For one? For all? Well, we'll see. Thanks for listening. God bless you.